So hello, everyone. I am um, pleased to be a part of this series that is sponsored by the Baylor College of Medicine Intellectual um, and Developmental Disabilities Research Center with the focus on community engagement. As we know, there is a lot of attention given to community engaged research. Um, at this time among the research community, as well as any stakeholder who has an interest in, res in, um, in research, including uh, patients and their families. And so I'm pleased to talk about just the topic of what is community engaged research and what does it look like? We know that there are a number of benefits that are talked about with regard to community engaged research that includes the ability to diversify the individuals who are participants in research studies. That could be diversity in terms of uh, race and ethnicity, diversity in terms of where folks live. So making sure um, that all communities are represented in research. We know that another benefit of community engaged research is that um, actual for investigators actually that they could be successful in their grant applications. As we know that many funders, the National Institutes of Health, as well as many foundations and other federal agencies are calling for investigators to include community engagement in their proposals. We also know that what we, we really do feel that um, community engaged research would lead to better actual implementation of research findings being put into practice in regular clinical settings and regular community settings. And then finally, another benefit of community engaged research is that we would promote equity in research so that we hope that our findings actually produce um, equitable outcomes for communities and individuals who have been traditionally underserved or are the least likely to have the benefit of innovations that are found in research. And so while there are a number of benefits that are often talked about with regard to community engaged research, most folks, um, there could be differences in terms of how people think about community engaged research. So one thing I'd like to say is that when we think about community engaged research, we often think about making sure that patients and families are included in the research, but that's one example of one stakeholder, but there are also a number of different stakeholders who would be involved in community engaged research. That includes healthcare providers or clinicians who are typically not involved in research. It could include payers. So what we would think about is um, insurance companies, for example, could be involved in the research process. Um, it could also include community-based organizations who are involved in advocacy for a specific uh, patient population or a specific community. They are also another type of community uh, stakeholder. So I just want to say that we could expand our thinking about who could be involved in research beyond researchers and patients and their families and their um, caregivers. So that's one piece with regard to community engaged research. And then the other piece, the, the second piece is that I'd encourage folks to think about community engaged research as being on a continuum with regard to um, how much communities are involved alongside researchers in conducting a study that could range from uh, simply uh, community stakeholders being involved in more outreach activities or education um, activities with regard to a specific community. They could be consultants um, alongside researchers or they could have more intense engagement with researchers. And that could include really cooperating and collaborating with them side by side to determine all aspects of the study. So determining um, what the research question is going to be, determining what measures will be used in the study, how recruitment will actually happen in, this, in the study, and then also um, in uh, collaborating and serving as partners with them actually in disseminating the results of the study. We, they would help determine where findings would be disseminated. So beyond just scientific journals, they would really be helpful in informing where 
um, making known the results of the study where, where it could have more impact. But although, although we talk about um, there could be diverse stakeholders involved in research and that research engagement is along a continuum with low engagement to really high intense engagement with community stakeholders being involved, we know that there are a number of challenges to um, stakeholder engagement. It could take a lot of time to establish those relationships. Um, there, there's a need to really negotiate differences among community stakeholders and researchers. And there could even be challenges posed by the funding requirements that are involved um, for community engaged research. But I would say I would leave you all with um, several things to think about in terms of supporting engagement. One is to make sure that there's adequate personnel to help logistically connect researchers with communities. I would say that there's also a need for there to be discretionary funding that really supports um, actual engagement activities. So being able to, to make sure that community stakeholders are provided with compensation for their time to work alongside researchers, there's a need to consider meeting space and making sure that meetings can take place in locations that are convenient for both researchers and community stakeholders and making sure that this channels of communication to keep those relationships going and, and strengthen them are established and agreed upon uh, with, with researchers and community stakeholders. And then finally, I'd say there's often a need to build the capacity or the skills of researchers and community stakeholders to be able to work alongside each other. Oftentimes, um, there are, there are challenges because maybe researchers haven't been trained in, the, in ways to understand, you know, what are the skills needed to work in partnership um, and have bi-directional equal relationships with uh, community stakeholders. So sometimes there's a need to train researchers to engage in that role. And then also um, simultaneously, there's also a need to build infrastructure so that we could support also community stakeholders to understand, you know, so what does research really look like and to prepare them for their role to work side by side with researchers and to strengthen that relationship. And so finally, I would like to thank you all for your attention um, to this video and also a thank you to the Baylor College of Medicine, Intellectual and Developmental um, Disabilities Research Center for supporting this video and this series on community engagement.